Okay, guys, we've got all the walls framed. Everything's braced off good, like we said uh, a while ago. Now, we're fixing to start cutting our ceiling joist. Only part of our cabin has ceiling joists on it. The other part of it has exposed rafters and beams and stuff. So we're going to be putting the ceiling joists over the bedroom, the bathroom, and part of the kitchen area is what we're going to actually be doing. So that's what we're fixing to start sticking up. We've got the top plates all laid out. Um, basically all we got to do is cut our length on these, put them up there, and nail them in place, and we're ready to rock and roll. Hey guys these are 18 inch hurricane straps code says that these need to be every 32 inches down a wall so i'm gonna let wanda that's gonna be her job is to go along and nail these up with number eight penny nails into the walls and basically all we do we divide it in half the distance so I'll have there'll be some writing in the center of this which means it's halfway down it and that will actually go right over that and she'll nail it to the studs and to this, what that does is ties the wall into the uh, seal, floor seal around the house for hurricane protection. We're going to do that all the way around the exterior walls of the house at the bottom. Not only do they go every 32 inches, but they also go on the outsides of every window liner and every door liner. I might get this before I get through with this house. Yeah. There you go. Long strokes. Okay, that's what this will look like. When she gets through with it, around the house, we do this, and it ties all this together so that our house is a little bit stronger during these heavy winds. I'm gonna be tired. Carry on. All right, Tom. Yes, 
sun beaming out hot. Okay, now I've got to uh, put them over. Yeah. that one done. It's a process. We're in the process now of notching our exposed beams in the cabin. We're going to go ahead and put those up because we'll need to put walk boards on top of them to be able to walk to do the roof on. We're going to take an inch and a half notch out of the end of each one of them, three and a half inches deep. That way it will sit down on our wall and lock in on each side and will still give us one plate underneath it to nail our wall boards to so that we won't have a place up there where there's no dead wood. And uh, plus it just helps tie the cabin together. Now when we get through, we're gonna run a long bolt down through these before we put the roof on them and bolt them through this and to the top plate to make sure that our walls never come apart on our cabin up there. So we're gonna make sure we bolt them. And we'll show you that when we get to that point, which will be down the road. We're not really interested in that right now. That'll come right before we put the roof on it. Um, once we get these three more put up, guys, we've got all of our exposed beams on the bottom and all of our ceiling joists is up in the rest of the cabin. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.
even though the battery may have died, we have four beams up and we're ready to start with the roof. At least one row of hurricane straps all the way down the outside on the front. 